Yo guys, what's going on? Spoofy here in the car, guys. I'm here with Desmond. We're at Locals. What's going on, Desmond? What's up? All right, so uh, you just uh, top 16 the St. Louis ARG. Is that right? Yeah. You, you were playing Burning Abyss. I've had a lot of people actually ask me for your list, and uh, people ask me a lot of questions, and they wanted to hear from your mouth, you know, why you played certain card choices. So, um, what was your final placing after Swiss? I don't know. Uh, 13? 13. Uh, one of those. Four, 13, 13, 14, or 15. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. And then uh, you also uh, played Burning Abyss. Why did you choose to play Burning Abyss over, like, you've been playing Necro, so I was, I was kind of sideswiped on why you played Burning Abyss. Yeah, earlier I topped um, YCS uh, Charleston with Burning Abyss. And then we played, that was when Mass Change came out. And I love that card. It's like one of the most broken cards I've ever seen. And then, like, we realized, we quickly realized we had, like, switched to Necros. So now I top ARG Charles, ARG Hartford with Necros, and, like, it was, it was kind of bland. Like, any day that can put up a floodgate, you lose. So, like, and I got to play shitty-ass cards like MST to um, out them, and I don't like non-combo cards. So I'd rather have a deck that, um, BA has a lot of standalone cards, like Tour Guys, Scam, Graf. They all can be by themselves and be all right. And they can play floodgates. So that's why I like this deck. All right, let's see what you play. Uh, we got one tour guide. Yeah. Uh, one mathematician. Definitely gonna cut this card. I didn't play Libic, so this card is really just pointless. It was only because it's like a starter card. I can um, send a card to the grave and have like karma cut in my hand or something. Mm -hmm. So like, it'll be a starter card, but like, okay. other than that, it's really shit. Uh, three f graph, three seer, uh, three scam. Mm -hmm. One cogna. So I'm playing um. Do you spell card? I'm playing mass change. And if you play match change, you don't, you, you're usually going to minus one off of the discard card. Unless you're playing Cogna. Cogna can just send the spell card to the grave. Get us a plus one from there. You know, uh, good and evil, which can just search okay. anything through your hand. I'm playing one Farfa. A lot of BA plays two, and it, this card is just unnecessary. Like, they lock you. Like, if you jam that lock, then it, you really don't need to have two of these. You have Karma Cuts, Fiend Griefing, and like, you got plenty of outs today. Mm -hmm. like, you just need one of that. And one Rubik. The synchro doesn't really come up that much anymore, so. Uh, I play a lot of de uh, traps in my deck, so I, I want to play hand traps too. Play two Maxi and two Valor. And how does the two and two work out for you? Maxi shit, I hate that card. Honestly, Valor is the only good one. Valor is like really good because um, it was either Valor, it was either Valor or Breakthrough. And if I chose Breakthrough, like you lose the cards like Dago Seca. So like Valor was like just really good against those cards. It's not that bad anyway. I agree. Oh, and I play like. I want to play a lot of floodgates, but besides, other than um, mistake, so I want to play like the monster floodgates. The, yeah, yeah. This should be a third bandy thing. This card is just infinitely better. Like this card, I don't, I can't see when I would, I would always go first turn this card. But I would never go first turn this because they have a special summon card, they have, like a, a spell, and then any way to summon a, like a Valk or something. This card shit. So uh, one soul charge. This card's the nuts. Uh, I can't imagine BA not playing Soul Charge. Could you imagine it being banned though? Could you think that that'd be one of the cards they had? No. You don't think so? It's not it. It hasn't done anything lately. I don't think. Uh, good and evil. Wait, one card one good and evil. Two match chain seconds. This card is the nuts. Dark Law is ama absolutely amazing in, any, in every matchup. Even if you're playing against your dolls, if they have to like banish cards, it's just still good. Uh, Fire Lake, just one. Might cut it. Like, I don't resolve it that much. Skill Drain. What I do with Skill Drain, like, I wouldn't play Skill Drain if I wasn't playing, um, the Fiends. Yeah. So, like, with the Fiends, if I ever flip Skill Drain, I wouldn't make Acid Golem until I draw one of the Fiends. Like, where they out it, I can just drop the, uh, Fiend. So, yeah, that yeah, follow-up. I don't have to damage, my, kill okay. myself. Uh, one Emptiness. Two Mind Crush, this card shit. Like, any good player will play around Mind Crush yeah. if they're playing Necros. And it's not hard at all. And then, one, then they'll just put the big monster on the field and it's like yeah. hard from there. Uh, three Mistake. How did that work for you? The three Mistake in the main? I lost a lot of game one. Well, not this weekend, but like, in testing, you lose a lot of game ones to Shadows. Okay. Like, well, that, that's expected anyway. But other than that, Mistake's broken. It gets Cleese in, um, mm -hmm. even the mirror sometimes. Like, you set it up first. Fiend Griefing, this is the best trap card for BA ever since, like, I don't know, since Mass Chain Second, this is the best card to come out for BA. This card's really good. It's actually a trap and a starter card, it gets you going. And I played, these are my discard cards. So I played against Matt Kalinda this weekend, uh, this past weekend. He played Rageki Break, 
and I'm still in, I'm still up in the air on that card because like Rakeke Break is good against floodgates like Shadow and Prison Mirror, but they're bad against the mirror. If I play against um BA, I don't want to have Rakeke Break to pop a Dante and you get a plus three. Or well, there's like an infinite plus. So Wing Blast and Comico would I play. This card's the best one. I would always play this at three. Okay. What about the uh, extra and side deck? Alright, so extra we got uh, got three Dantes. Of course. Uh, yeah, yeah, three. <laughs> one Virgil. It, two kind of comes up, not really, mm -hmm. but <laughs> not really necessary though. One Acid Golem. Mm -hmm. uh, one Nightmare Shark. I actually didn't summon this this weekend. I didn't know how that happened. Uh, one Ali card. This card comes up a lot against your dolls. Like, it's really good. Um, anytime if they don't fuse first turn and they set a monster. Like, if there any deck that just sets a monster instead of back row on pass time, I'm just gonna assume it's your dolls at all times. I'm just gonna make this card. Mm -hmm. um, Triage Levia, this card is absolutely amazing. And like, most people don't play this. So like, you usually should only play if you play Soul Charge. If you play Soul Charge, then um, you can make this card first turn. And it's, it's just amazing. Oh, it can negate true. a monster and then lowers attack and it banishes. Mm -hmm. uh, Fortune Tomb, four time, but like, I don't really go into time. Uh, two downer magicians. Probably should be three. I don't know. I, I can find a card to cut. Uh, two dark law. Mm -hmm. So dark law again is like just amazing. It's, it's like a floodgate, but it's, it's probably like better than the fiends. I would think so. Well, not not, not I mean, I don't that. Know. And plus a fiend on the field is just like yeah. Oh, it's broken. Infinite. <laughs> and two shadow construct. Okay. Shadal construct. It's for the uh, side deck, which I saw. El I saw Shadal fusion and um, three targets for the fusion. Okay. Let's see that side deck then. All right. For the side deck, we got two beasts and a dragon mm -hmm. and three Shadal fusion. Like, can you explain this? I have a lot of people actually message me wanting me to get y'all's opinions on why why this was a thing and it. A lot of people, not many people were doing it. A lot of people were main decking it more in the in the top. And I want to know y'all's reasoning for actually even playing it. Um, so decks that can play floodgates are a problem. So they have cards like Mistake or essentially Mistake. Actually, that's one, the, like the hardest one to deal with, or just other traps. You want you want to be able to have a, a sufficient way to play to have Dragon. So there's so many extra deck monsters, which they can't win essentially. If they don't summon extra deck monsters. Then you just have Shadow Fusion play it. And you deal with any um you deal with air construct or wind if they have one, which is really hard to deal with in the BA matchup for Shadows. And um if you have a uh, beast, if you draw these cards, like they're not that bad against the matchups you're playing against. Yeah. Like I, I can just set the dragon or I could summon a monster, set the beast, and like I can advance my game somehow. Yeah. So it's not that bad if you draw. Okay. Uh two D fusion, just go hard against Shadows. Of course. And the rest of it is like floodgate outs. Got two okay. Galaxy Cyclone, three MSTs, and two Fairy Wind. Makes sense. I'm pretty sure because of this, you mill a lot, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my game ones aren't that broken against uh, Cleese anymore. Even with mistakes. Because, like, I'm playing a lot of cards that just don't matter. Get them Maxis, Veilers, and the Fiends. So, like, mm -hmm. I just go hard against them game two and three. Yeah. All right. Well, um, congratulations on yet another top. How many is that now? 14? 13? That's probably more than like 15, 16. Wow. Well, keep on climbing that ladder. Hopefully you'll... Uh, you gotta win one. You gotta, you gotta win one. We're gonna win that. nationals. You better. You better. Keep it in Atlanta. Gonna, yeah, exactly. Keep it in Atlanta. But appreciate the deck profile. We'll be seeing you in that, right? Yes, You'll be wearing that car guy. Hey, the, the car guys. <laughs> All right. Well, um, this is Spoofy and Desmond with the car guys. And we'll see you guys later. Peace.